Hi, this is Ray Bentley. I'd like to invite you to check out my new book, The Holy Land Key. It is an examination of prophecy that goes beyond the clock on the wall and speculative timelines. You will meet the people the Old Testament prophets actually saw in the future and learn the historical context of prophecy and experience the journey of suffering and triumph lived by God's people over the centuries. The Jewish feasts of the Lord, they're listed in Leviticus 23. There are seven of them. All seven point to the Messiah. They all point and are fulfilled in Jesus. And the first four of them point to the first coming of Christ. And the last three point to the second coming of Christ. In Genesis 1.14, it says that God gave the sun and the moon and the stars and the lights for signs and for seasons. The Jewish people say that a blood moon or a lunar eclipse is a sign or omen for the Jews. A solar eclipse is a sign or omen to the Gentile. We're going to talk about the patterns of what has happened in the past when these blood moons have come and what we might anticipate in the near future. And I think one of the most unique characters that, <laughs> that totally blew my mind that I found out is probably Jewish was Christopher Columbus. It has huge implications for the United States, for our country, for America, but also for the relationship between Jews and Gentiles. Uh, we believe the book of Job is the oldest book. And in Job chapter 38, Job uh, is having a conversation where God is speaking to him and God mentions the Maseroth. When you look it up, it is basically the 12 constellations, what we call in Greek the zodiac. Most people think of the zodiac as, oh, astrology, stay away from that. In fact, before astrology came, there was God revealing himself through these 12 pictures. 12 is a number for God. And they point to the story of the gospel. It's fascinating. All of the signs, all of the seasons, all of the patterns are converging. And I believe that the next few years are going to be some of the most exciting times that we've ever lived through. Challenging, uh, also revealing, and God is going to be glorified. He's ready to pour out His Spirit. His kingdom is coming. His kingdom is on the way. And I can't wait for you to read and to hear more about it and get excited for the return of Christ.